But then she got on top of Danny and bop, 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 bop. Ba 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 red. Ba 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 red. She was bopping her. No shade. Uh, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame my hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. So the nigga out. Treat him like a free code. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank you. Thugs gonna fuck no nigga. I'm a prankster. I can make a thug nigga feel What's like up, a wankster. What's up, Get your girl, Lucci V. And welcome back to my channel. I'm back. With another video and today i'm going to be recapping jocelyn's cabaret texas episode eight so if you would like to get into a little tea with me then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell ding 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 and let's get it okay y'all let's get into it it's tuesday i really wanted to have all my recaps out monday and tuesday i wanted to drop two monday and then two today on tuesday but you guys i was a little under the weather over the weekend um i know it seems like i'm always sick but y'all i've been like this since a child my immune system is and yes i take all the precautions and all that like i take the vitamins all that like my doctor said my immune system is just boo boo okay um also the weather in chicago right now is crazy like i literally just had my heat on yesterday and today I had the AC on. It was like 80 degrees today. And yesterday it was freezing cold. Like, I'm pretty sure that's contributing to why I'm getting sick. Okay. But I'm here Tuesday. I'm about to film like three recaps today. Yeah, I'm working hard. I'm working hard in the paint. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into it. Jocelyn's Cabaret episode eight. Okay. So we know we were left on a cliffhanger on the last episode where Jocelyn was going to be picking the girls who are going to be featured in the Domino dumb hello video okay so she starts picking the girls the first pick is raven now y'all know i think raven is fine she irritating to me a little bit but the girl looks good you know i got i gotta give her, her tens the girl looks good okay um then she picks lexi isis erica then she says danny and danny is so excited y'all she oh my gosh oh, 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 it's working dancing and when she gets up there jocelyn's like oh my gosh i said the wrong name i meant to say andrea so Danny had to talk the take the walk of shame back to her seat. Jocelyn, why are you playing that girl? <laughs> why was she playing her face like that? That would have blew me. I'm not gonna lie, that would have blew me. Um, so Danny goes to sit back down. Andrea comes up. Um, then she picks Jayla, Neek, and then she says one more pick, and it was Danny. Girl, you could have just let Danny stay up there. Why you did that just to embarrass her? Like why she like i don't know i don't know i feel like she get like a little kink out of playing in their face or something because like girl if you was gonna pick her anyways you could have just had her stay up there what was the girl jocelyn really plays okay now i do feel like danny andre and andrea should not have been picked they cannot really dance like that to me they don't look up to the part to me i feel like henny and rose should have definitely been picked they know how to dance and they look good um who else do i feel like should have been picked mainly henny and rose okay i'm not gonna lie because they, they look good and everybody see and they like i feel like the girl jayla shorty with the little bifocals she could have not been picked little little ghetto velma she could have been up out of there no shade um I think Lexi was a good pick. The girl, Erica, she cannot really dance like that to me. Like, she's a pretty girl, but she could have been up out of there too if you asked me. Um, so they have like a little emotional moment. And, you know, Jocelyn's like, you guys, you guys are cute. you Y'all know how Jocelyn be. But, at, excuse me, at the end, they go hug her. And she like has her arms up at first and she put them down like, y'all don't smell my armpits. They funky. And Danny is like, it's okay. I love it. It's some seasoning. I'm seasoning, but now that takes me back to Carlissa when they did the auntie podcast. Carlissa had said like that Jocelyn was stinking and she was funky. And then I saw another post on Facebook like last week, and they was like, Oh, it's a known thing in the industry that Jocelyn doesn't use deodorant for environmental purposes. Woo -woo. I'm like, wait. So it's true, Jocelyn do be a little musty. I don't know. Jocelyn just gives me like clean girl. Like, I don't know. She looked like she smelled good to me, but I mean, she said it on the show. Like my armpits are funky. So, hey, I, 
hey, I, I don't understand what's the environmental purposes because don't they have like other stuff you could do? Like I be seeing people say rub the lemons and limes or something under your armpits and do like the little armpit detox. And don't they got like special deodorants for that? I don't know, but I mean, you know, if she like, she look good though. So I mean, I no, okay, whatever floats your boat. Danny say it's the seasoning. Like, girl, what kind of seasoning? Okay, let me get off that subject. Okay, so they on the sprint around home, and Ocean starts saying like, you know, I'm not mad at you guys, but I'm upset with myself because I feel like I, you know, I've been talking this big game and I'm not, you know, living up to it, and I should have been picked and blah blah blah. A little oily right there. There we go. And she was like, you know, you know, I should have been picked. And it's like, no, you shouldn't, sis. You can't dance. Like, you don't look the part and you can't dance. So it's like, no, you should not have been picked. The right choice was made, Miss Oceans. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't have been picked. So then Neek starts talking about how, like, you know, they the new OGs and you know, all this and that. And Danny and Andrea immediately got defensive. Like, yeah, I ain't no, I ain't no new OGs. We here, we here to stay. Woo -woo. And, you know, Neek was saying, like, you know, we could take y'all spots and all of that. And, I mean, I do feel like Neek did not have to say that. But I also feel like it was not that serious for Danny and Andrea to get that defensive about it. But it's like, you know, Neek does talk too much. She does kind of be popping it a lot. And, you know, they was not having it. Like, they was arguing for a long time on the whole sprint ride on the way to the booking because... Jocelyn let them know that they would be um, accompanying her to her booking that night. And it was just like, they was going on and on and on and on about this argument back and forth, like jumping up and down, looking crazy. And it was like, it's not that serious. If you feel like the girl can't take your spot, then I mean, step it up on the dancing, eat it up every time and let it be that. But it's like, the like, yeah, that's how I know I'm not made for these kind of shows. Cause like, I would have stopped talking to you a long time ago, baby. You, you was going to be arguing with yourself. I'm not about to argue with you for 30 minutes straight over what I said. Cause I said what I said. And that's just that my girl, if you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you. You got to go on a talk show, go talk to Oprah, Mari, you know, RIP Jerry Springer, but that would have been a good choice. Like, you know, but uh, Sally, Jesse, Raphael, you know, one of them type of people, Drew Barrymore has a talk show. Now don't she, you could go talk to somebody like that, that, that just be talking. Cause I ain't with it, sis. Okay, so they arrive at the club and they are at Anthony's club. Anthony from Bad Boys. Um, if you have never been to his club in Houston, he runs the after hours club. It's a like Jocelyn said, LB LBGTQ. Did I say it right? I be forget even though I'm part of the letters, I be forgetting all the letters sometimes because they keep adding more letters. It's turning into the whole alphabet, but you know, he runs that kind of club and it's an after hours spot. I think the doors open at like 2 a.m. or something like that. But y'all, Anthony's spot in Houston is a vibe. Like, it is a vibe. Like, I, I've i been there maybe, like, I was booked there. And then I, I end up missing my flight on purpose the next day after my booking so I can go back again. Me and Tierra went together. Tierra from BGC7. And then last summer when I went to Houston, like, on a business trip, um... I end up going there again. And I just, y'all almost missed my flight home and everything. Cause I, whoo, y'all, it was, mm, a time was had. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. So the next day, baby, the next day is, is when it went crazy up in that, up in that house. Okay. So, um, some of the girls, some of the new girls were talking and they were saying like how they felt like, um, Andrea and Danny were only picked because Jocelyn, you know, feels like she owes them loyalty and, you know, stuff like that. And I mean, that may be the case, you know, since they were with her on the last season, because I mean, Jocelyn be saying that they look a mess. She be saying that they don't look the part. So it's like, I feel like she knows that they kind of like her little minions and they all go like if Jocelyn be like, go get her, Danny, Danny going to run and go get her, go get her, Andrea, snap her fingers. Andrea going to go do it. Uh, suck my toes right now. They're going to get down on the floor and get the toe sucking like she knows that so i feel like that's why she keeps them around you know she knows that they don't have a backbone she knows that they do not have a spine so they will do what she says so i feel like because i mean they can't dance like that like i'm sorry like and i'm not the best dancer either so 
but I'm not on a, on a dancing show. I'm not trying to join the cabaret, so I, I cannot dance. Yeah, all I know how to do is I don't understand. That's the only dance I know how to do. That's all you gonna get. From me. Okay. okay, so well, wait, let me stop stirring this. Y'all, this iced coffee is not good, and it's because I tried a new creamer, that new apple caramel crisp creamer, whatever. I do not like that. But I'm going to just drink it since I made it. But anyway, so off camera, some drama happens. Now, apparently they were having some kind of dance rehearsal with Ricardo. And that's where the drama started. So when the camera finally did start filming, the first thing I hear Danny saying is, Bye, bye, Rima. Girl, you, you want to be a baddie. You want to be a bad girl. So bad because all I keep hearing is them using lines from baddies and bad girls club like come up with your own go home Danny like girl what girl don't <laughs> girl don't, don't do it don't do it okay but anyways um so off camera I guess Jayla and Henny were starting to argue and they were trying to run a little fade or whatever but you know, security was trying to stop them. So Jocelyn comes in like, what's going on here? Like, what are y'all doing? Jocelyn's so funny. She came in mid-makeup, no eyebrows on. Like, they was doing one of them looks. Y'all know the looks some people been doing where you, like, block out the eyebrows and then draw on a real skinny eyebrow. I guess she was about to prepare to do one of them looks because she, <laughs> she, I mean, Jocelyn still was pretty regardless with or without makeup. I think Jocelyn is beautiful. But it was so crazy just seeing the blocked out eyebrows. Like, girl, you look crazy. Um... But Henny and Jayla start running the fade. And they was like giving me shenanigans. They was like both windmilling like. And the girl Jayla was talking like she really got them hands. Like, and once they got on the flow, it was like Henny was on top of her head. Boop, boop, boop. Like, y'all keep picking with Henny and none of y'all are, are, are whooping her. That's what's so crazy to me. Like, they keep trying to double team triple team all this like everyone is trying to get henny and no one is getting her no one is getting her if you ask me like no one has whooped her yet it has not been like a a real a whooping on her yet like y'all acting like y'all about to do so nick says that she wants around with henny next and danny is like no nah, i want you and nick is like i'm not worried about you danny i'm not and they like danny just put her hands on you though she's like no she didn't and but you can see that her shirt is ripped and she tied it back together. And I guess Danny is the one who ripped her shirt. So it's like, why are you trying to not run it with Danny? But you said he keep trying to get Henny. Like they are, Henny got them girls pressed. Cold pressed juice. Henny has the whole like that's crazy to me how one girl can have all y'all pressed. And the girl has not done anything to y'all. Like, I'm trying to remember if she did something to anybody, she came in the house. She didn't have to audition. Y'all was mad about that. She said something about her friend. And then her friend was cool with it. Y'all was mad about that. Like, what? Like, it has nothing to do. It's giving hating. And Nick saying everybody hating on her. But it's giving everybody hating on Henny, if you ask me. But okay. So, Danny is just like, you know, I want to violate you. I want to violate you. She keeps saying, I want Henny, though. I want Henny. Henny not even paying her attention at this point. Henny just ran her face. She in the corner somewhere. You know, getting herself together. And she keeps saying she want Henny like, Danny is the one that's in your face. She Martin Fingers. We here. And you trying to ignore her to try to get to the girl who not even paying you no attention. Weird behavior. Weird behavior. So then they start saying how Neek was disrespectful to Ricardo. And that's why, you know, Danny really mad at her. And but the thing is, they weren't saying what she said. They kept saying, like, oh, she was disrespecting Ricardo. Jocelyn, like, what was said? What was said? And nobody was saying what was said. Like, no one was saying it. And then Ricardo was like, oh, well, she just had an attitude because she was saying she don't don't learn dances by eight counts. And she was getting frustrated. And she had an attitude. And Jocelyn's like, what was said? No one could say what was said. Like, what did she say? What did she say? That was disrespectful. Like, I don't know. But I guess her having an attitude. But honestly, Ricardo didn't really seem bothered by it. The girls more so seem bothered by Ricardo. Because y'all know if Ricardo felt like he was disrespectful, y'all know he would. that girl would have been gone. She, he would have told Jocelyn that girl would have been gone. So for like 10 minutes of the episode, it was a bunch of back and forth yelling. Just everybody screaming. I'm like, what? Like, it got to the point where Jocelyn had to tell them, like, shut up. Shut up. 
and Neek wanted to still talk. Jocelyn was like, shut up, B. Shut up. Like, and Jocelyn had started snapped on her, started snapping on her. You know, she was letting her know, like, you too entitled, you walk around with your head high, and, you know, you do too much. And, you know, I do feel like ever since the first episode, there's been a problem with Neek talking too much when Jocelyn trying to talk or just talking too much in general. But it's like, dang, she be, Jocelyn be snapping on them. So then out of nowhere, Jayla tells Henny that her cat stink. I'm like, wait, where, where the stanky cat come from? And Henny like, when did my cat ever stink? When did my cat ever stink? And she like leans forward and tells Danny to smell it. And Danny bends down and smells it. And then she didn't come up and say, well, they stink or not. She just said, like, so I don't mean if it's, that mean to smell edible or what? Like, because what happened? Did it stink or not? Like, I, I don't know. That part lost me. I ain't gonna lie. That part lost me. So Danny and Neek, they've been calling her Neek Mill. Danny and Neek Mill finally run a round. And baby, it was giving gymnastics. They was rolling and tumbling and tossing and rolling. Like, they was rolling, rolling, rolling. I was like, what is happening here? Like, I know y'all ain't make us wait this whole time just to see y'all be some tumbleweeds, baby, because what's happening, okay? Now, that second round, that second round, Neek got on top of Danny. Like, they, they did some rolling at first, but then she got on top of Danny and bop, 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 She was bopping her. No shade. Neek Mew bopped her down. She was bopping her so bad, Andrea had to run in and, and try to, you know, hop in too. Then Andrea took off running because Isis and Erica started chasing her. They was tearing her up in the corner. I'm like, wait, like, this is giving South Central Baddies for a second because it was just so much going on in every corner. I was like, what's going on here, okay? So Danny ended up throwing a trash can at Neek. I was like, yo, it's a lot. Jocelyn had to come like, hey, shut up. Like, to Danny, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she had to check Danny. Like, look, y'all doing a lot, okay? Now, I will say, I did peep that Neek did stand up to Jocelyn. You know, she told Jocelyn, like, you know, why you keep trying to embarrass me on camera? Like, I'm not that kind of girl. And the own, when I first watched it on Sunday, I didn't really catch that. But I saw people on Facebook, like, she stood up to her. I'm like, let me rewatch it. And when I rewatched it to take my notes, I did hear her say, Jocelyn, woo, woo, woo. You know, stop trying to embarrass me on camera. And it's like, okay, Neek, you... You, you earned a little respect for me, even though you do talk too much, sis. At least you you stood up, okay? Then, here comes Osha. It's like, Osha just be wanting to be a part of something so bad. I feel like she saw all the squabbles and stuff happening, and she like, oh, I'm not going to be in this scene, so let me come on. She run up on Henny. She acting like she finna dog her. I think she think from that first time that they ran the fade when she caught her off guard and they had tried to jump her. I think she thought it was gonna be sweet, but her and it, it was not easy. Her and Henny end up falling on the ground, woo woo, and Henny need her in the eye. Like it was immediately. BBE, big black eye. Immediately. BBE. Oh my soul. Like BBE, big black eye. Immediately. Like, what? Jocelyn, like, look at her eye. She like, yeah, because she kicked me. Girl, she ugh, needs you. Uh, gee, it was so big immediately i've never seen a black eye get that big immediately before like it you know how sometimes it start off by closing at first and then it started to swell up no it was like knee bbe knee bbe it was immediate no time was wasted okay so that was the end of the episode um next episode she just dancing with that bbe looking crazy they like damn put your glasses on girl what the hell like and um what else was on next episode was this some phase being ran? I don't know. I don't really remember. But, um, yeah. The BBE had me speechless, y'all. No shade, okay? So, yes, that's the end for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.